All right, this is a little bit different from what I'm used to, so usually talking to 14 and 15 year olds. So. All right. So a little bit about myself. So I'm an outdoor leadership professional. I'm a camp director at the summit, director of the National Scout Camp. And uh, I've been working at camp since about 2002. So that's where most of my experience comes from. I was 14 when I worked at camp in 2002, so if you're good at math, you'll be able to figure out how old I am. Um, like I said, I'm a, a climbing instructor, high ropes instructor, and I like to do a lot of different stuff uh, in the outdoor world, including uh, teaching lead no trace and things like that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about where I work. I'm going to get my clicker to work for me. Oh, that's me. That's me with our first group of uh, campers last summer. So the Summit Vector Reserve is a 10,600-acre facility and here in southern West Virginia. Um, we highlight adventure sports at the Summit. So we do things like... Um, sorry, I'm going to skip through these real quick. We do things like skateboarding, mountain biking, rock climbing, um, whitewater rafting, paddling, swimming, archery, firearms, different things like that, uh, kind of high adventure style activities. And we have four key values at the summit. Um, the first is adventure, so our action sports activities that we do. The second is leadership, uh, empowering new leaders through the, the programs that we do. Uh, the third is sustainability, and the importance of keeping in mind that sustainability includes both environmental, economic, uh, and uh, society all together in one uh, sustainability practice. And finally, we do service projects. So each of the groups that come to the summit are encouraged to focus on service. Uh, a little bit about the Boy Scouts as well. So the Boy Scouts of America, we prepare young people to make more moral and ethical choices throughout their lives by instilling in them the values of the Scout Oath and Law. So those are our ideals, the Scout Oath and Law. And those of you who may be uh, Eagle Scouts or former Scouts in the room, do we have anyone who participated in Scouts? I see a couple. All right. So, next slide, please. There we go. Uh, we use a few different aims uh, to get to these uh, ideals that we're trying to catch. And you know what? This whole thing just feels kind of weird. This isn't really, I'm kind of uncomfortable. I feel like I need to do something real quick. So give me just a second. <laughs> All right, I had to get my, my roaring campfire going there. I feel a lot more comfortable now. I feel at ease, a little relaxed. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is campfires. Next slide, please. Oops. Back. So a campfire is a really important thing at camp. We start each week with a campfire, and we do something really important at that campfire. We make complete fools of ourselves at that campfire. So at that campfire, our staff will go up front, we'll sing really silly songs, we'll do really funny stuff, uh, we'll, we'll do ridiculous skits, and a lot of people will ask, well, why do you do that? Why are you making fun of yourselves in front of all of these kids? And there's one very important point that comes out when we do that. It's a comfortable place for them. They realize it's a place where they can be themselves. It's a place where uh, they can make mistakes, they can try new things, and they can learn. So I'm going to go over a few different points today, and I want three things for you to remember. My first one is build a campfire. So I think it's important in our education system that we build a place where people feel comfortable and youth can try new things and make mistakes. The next thing I want to talk about is earning a badge. How many of you have heard of merit badges before? I hope you all raise your hands. That's what we're known for in Boy Scouts or Merit Badges. It's important to try new things. And so the point of our Merit Badge system in the Boy Scouts is to get Scouts to try different things that might lead to a new vocation or a new hobby. 
So the more merit badges they earn, the more of these awesome activities they get to try. Uh, things like skateboarding, mountain biking, those are things that are available at the summit. So, going along with the idea of getting outside your comfort zone, we like to put people in what we call the stretch zone. That's where they learn new activities, that's where most of the education really happens. So, next slide. Alright, I'll forget the PowerPoint. It's a campfire anyway, right? Alright. <laughs> so this presentation right now is an example of being in the stretch zone. I have never done anything like this before. Like I said, I had to bring my campfire, that's my comfort blanket. Um, the values that we teach in scouting encourage people to try new things, get outside their comfort zone. When Dan McCarthy, my boss, asked me to do this presentation, on the outside I was like, oh yeah, that sounds great, I'll totally do that. On the inside I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> the, the next point that I want to talk about is getting outdoors and taking a hike. So, so far we have build a campfire, and I'm a crowd interaction person, I'm sorry. So everybody say that with me, build a campfire. Thank you. And the second one is going to be earn a, earn a badge. And that's about getting outside your comfort zone. And the third one is take a hike. Yeah. All right. We're going to get outside. It's important to use nature as a tool to teach youth. Uh, nature is constantly moving and there's a lot going on, so uh, that might seem terrifying to an educator. There's a lot of distractions, uh, there's all sorts of different things going on, animals chirping and, and kids can get distracted. My point would be, use that environment to teach on its own. It's the teacher, all that you need is a guide. Take someone into the outdoors and let them learn from everything that is happening there and you may inspire them. Um, to get interested in biology, to get interested in plant animal science. <clears throat> at, our, uh, at our camp, our philosophy, uh, what I impart to our staff and our staff training is teachable moments. So we take them into the outdoors, things happen. We take them to the skate park, things happen. And we reflect on what has happened naturally and encourage them to learn from it. Uh, and again, as educators, that may sound terrifying because it's outside of our lesson plan. Ah! But we can take advantage of those opportunities. Um, here in West Virginia, we have innumerable resources when it comes to outdoors. We have the New River Gorge. Uh, we have state parks. We have just, I mean, go down the road a little bit and you're going to find a beautiful place uh, to teach people about the environment and about outdoors. But, since I'm here from the Summit Back to Reserve, of course I have to do a shameless plug about what we do. So, we're working right now on a, a K-5 education program at the Summit, um, where we bring students in and teach them about environmental science, sustainability, and ecology. We also have visitor days, where the public is welcome to come visit us. So, uh, June 11th, July 9th, and July 30th, you're all welcome to come out and experience all the different activities that we have at the Summit. Whether you want to go down a zip line, uh, whether you want to go skateboarding for the first time, we usually don't encourage the adults to do that. Uh, or if you just want to come see the site, you're all more than welcome to come visit us. And finally, we do programs like STEM education, uh, like I heard mentioned in the previous uh, presentation, and a STEM camp program. Uh, the Scouts, Boy Scouts of America recently unveiled a program called STEM Scouts, uh, which are partnered with schools where um, we do different experiments and activities, but still instill the values that we teach in scouting. So, I'm um, just going to recap real quick. Uh, first, build a campfire uh, in our schools, communities, even our workplaces, uh, and create a safe place. Earn a badge and get outside of their comfort zone. And finally, go take a hike and get outside. I think those are all important things that we can do ourselves, but also we can incorporate into our education system um, to promote a better future in West Virginia. So thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate being able to come and speak with all of you. And I'll, I promise I'll put the stage back together. Otherwise, we won't let us come back.